That's right, Megan. We like to get our hands in the dirt at these zip trips, and we want to educate you on the Clinton Community Garden Project. I have Jamie and Dr. Kendra here with me to tell me more about this project. Ladies, thank you so much for having us here in Clinton. You guys look like you're ready to go in the garden. Oh, boy, we are. We tell are... us about this project. I well, mean, it's so cool. Well, Kendra Hamilton, Dr. Kendra Hamilton, is really our god garden goddess. So I'm going to let her tell, <laughs> talk about the history, um, about where we've been. Yes. Okay, so the garden garden actually started as a racial reconciliation project in the wake of, you know, I came in 2014, which is the, uh, we were coming up on the 150th anniversary of the end of the Civil War. Then the, you know, the Ferguson protest started, the Dillon Roof. So the, 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 the yeah, all of that. So the two pastors, uh, uh, Blake Harwell of First Baptist Church and Stephen Evans of Friendship AME Church, came together with the idea, what can we do for the community to demonstrate that people can work together across racial lines, generational lines, class lines. So we started a, a, a garden on empty lots across from Friendship Church. It's right between the old, in the historic African-American community, but between two Mill Hill villages and trying to bring those two communities together. And doing that with something that's approachable, like dirt and gardening and being together, we're all after the same goal of creating and growing these things and growing community while growing actual produce, which is uh, fantastic. So what are some of the things that you guys do? Are there classes? Is it, it really just open to the entire community? Well, during COVID, we were really active before that. We had to, we did our gardening, but we could not really reach out to community. But after that, we have started again, and we do education classes. Um, Prisma Health is one of our major sponsors, and we pull in their professionals to do um, things like diabetes education, hypertension, uh, nutritional uh, management, these kind of things. Those are held at the Friendship AME Church, which we're so great, grateful for them. Um, we also do our cooking classes, cooking, yes. and we do seed swaps. Okay. We do. We try to get people interested in the natural world. Try to get them interested in pollinators. Try to get them interested in their yards, because one of the things that you find with gardening is that it just creates well-being. It's one of those things where it makes people feel better to see something beautiful. And once you start doing cleaning up one corner of your neighborhood, then other people start doing gardening in their backyards. And it just creates this whole, you know, nice community at atmosphere. It's about community pride and also teaching people that, especially kids, that food doesn't come from the grocery store. It comes from the ground. There's a farmer attached to that. And that, that that's how you start that wellness journey of understanding that what you're putting in your body matters. So yeah. folks watching this are probably asking, how can we help them? What are some things that you guys need as you move into your next phase? Well, absolutely volunteers. We have a great working board and that's what they are really working board okay. they they are there every saturday planning doing so we are doing a volunteer recruitment campaign right now justin brent one of our board members is working with presbyterian college with the students um, and also we're looking to to come over and do some work programs so volunteers are really important Donations are also very important to keep us going. We are 501c3, right. so we depend on that. It takes money to make it all go around. So can they find you on social media to figure out how to support? Yes, the Clinton Community Garden is on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, I will tell you, we are having a big event in October. That's right. The uh, Gathering in the Garden is our annual sort of like harvest thank you to the community. And so we have food from the garden, also um, healthy, you know, um, healthy meats, you know, not everything's not fried, you know, so we, <laughs> we, love our fri we love our fried in the we love South. Her, we love her fried you know South. what I'm going to do? I'm going to have you guys on your Carolina as we get closer to that event so we can talk about it a little bit more. But it. thank you guys so much for coming on and educating yeah. us about this a great project. Again, we'll put the information and a link to their Facebook page so you can support them and watch out for them coming up closer to October to talk about that event coming up in October. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much.